Day in and day out, thousands of Ghanaians scramble for limited job vacancies. Unemployment rates in the country remains a troubling trend as figures keep soaring despite government interventions. Statistics from non-governmental organizations Star Ghana show that the national unemployment rate nearly tripled from 5.2% in 2013 to 14.1% in 2017. In the same year, the International Labour Organization, ILO, estimated that youth unemployment among 15 to 24-year-olds in Ghana was 4.9%. Despite these alarming figures, we keep hearing messages like this one. Nation Builders Corps, 100,000 graduates have been hired. The freeze on public employment is over. We have hired about 350,000 people. So where are the jobs? Professor Bob Watson is a labor economist and head of economics at the University of Ghana. He explained the difference between job creation and unemployment. That every day, every year, every month, at every point in time, jobs are being created by government, by private sector, those in the formal or informal. The activity that we perform every day creates one job or the other. But it doesn't necessarily translate into employment. Emmanuel Senyat Asigre is CEO of the National Youth Authority. Those in the informal sector are my heartbeat because those are the ones who you visibly see what it is that they go to the distress they find themselves in. And I'm referring to these are young folks who find themselves hawking on our streets. I went to Newtown for a reality check. It's noon here and these young men are busily engaged in the game of draft. I found out from one of them, Atta, whether or not he is employed. I cannot wake up every morning, dress up and go to work to receive 400 or 500 cities as salary. This is not enough. Unlike a child who chooses to remain unemployed for reasons of a low salary, Francis, who works with a security firm, believes it takes proactivity to gain employment in Ghana. Well, God knows when the jobs will come for you to go and do and get a better salary that you want. So even as as now currently, Graduate are doing security works just to get something, just to penetrate somewhere. In the meantime, the National Youth Authority hopes to indulge 10,000 unemployed persons, especially in the informal sector, for a skills training program. As, as we speak, we have targeted 10,000 people for this year, 10,000 young people for this year, and that is going to be across the country. The dynamics to unemployment remains different when it comes to different sectors of the economy and different individuals alike. For drug masters that I'm engaging right now, they are saying that sometimes it has to do with the jobs. They'd have to shift jobs that are of low paying range. Others are also saying that others just don't venture into this whole field because of the dwindling natures and fortunes of vacancies across the country. Be it all as it may, the real issue on the ground is for government to create jobs and the private sector as well to create an enabling environment for those without jobs to have a well-meaning for and paid job in that regard. I'm Charles Aite for Joy Business. Uh, uh, ah. Nebia.